Okay, so I know I've already done part of number 16, but um, I wanted to show you. It says use decimal models to find 2 and 8 tenths divided by 4, and what is 28 divided by 4, and how do the quotients, which is the answer to division problem, uh, compare? So how do they compare? First thing, I'll model this one, because I already know that 28 divided by 4 is 7, because 7 times 4 is 28. So here, I'm going to take 2 and 8 tenths, shade that in, and then it says to divide into four groups. So I need four groups, and since I don't have another row to kind of regroup it, this is the way I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look at the whole numbers, and since I have to make this into four groups, I know I can cut each one of these in half, and that's equal. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five tenths. Here's five tenths, and so now I have these four groups. And so far, in each group, I have 5 tenths. But then I still have these left over. So what I'm going to do with these is that I'll take 1 and cross it out. And I'm going to make a mark over here to represent another tenth. I'll do the same thing for this other tenth. I'll make it and make a mark here. So really, this mark represents a tenth. But because I don't have enough room, I'm just going to put a dot. So this group now has 6 tenths. This has 6 tenths. I need to add another tenth, or add a tenth to this group, and then take one and add a tenth to that group. Now I still have some left over, so I'm going to do it again. Starting with the first group, take a tenth, add it to this group, take a tenth, add it to that group, take a tenth, add it to this group, and take my last tenth and add it to this group. So I do have four complete groups, one, two, three, and four. But what I'm going to do is I'll count these five, and then I need to count these two, which makes it a total of seven tenths in each group. And that's my answer. So two and eight tenths divided by four is seven tenths, or 0.7. And the answer to 28 divided by four is seven. So how do they compare? Well, one of them has a decimal and the other doesn't. This is a whole number with no digits after my decimal place. And here I have a, a part, right, a decimal with one number after my decimal place. And notice, I also have one number after my decimal place here in 